This is SE Featured. This is the power of sports. I think if I hadn't have amounted to something, I should have been thrown back. I've really had great coaching. Not sports, but life coaching. Great coaching from my parents as entrepreneurs. When I was younger than Stephen, I really would make a big effort to coach him, coach my other son, and my daughter would be active. Made a lot of effort, and uh, I got to play for a national champion in college. I've gotten to be with the Cowboys, the most rewarding, the most gratifying the thing and all of it that I would have hated to miss, and I missed it, was coaching those kids. And I really thought I was doing it for them, and the one that got the most out of it was me. Family has always been the biggest influence in Jerry Jones's life. Cultivated in his parents' grocery store in North Little Rock, Arkansas. There, the core values of work ethic and relationships were instilled in him when it came to business. Dad and mother were entrepreneurs. And sitting around the table, I got such an education. And these little ears would be sitting over there listening about how they were going to meet their payrolls, how they were going to buy a new piece of equipment for their retail uh, grocery market, and we lived right above the store. Pat and Armenta Jones were big personalities who emphasized the art of the sell. My mama stood me outside when I was nine and ten with a little bow tie on and I'd greet those customers there with a smile, and I was coached up how to do that. And then Mama would wink when one of the customers came through that she knew might tip me, and I'd push her basket around and help her get her groceries. I saw my father have amateur talent contests in the middle of the store just to entertain the customers as they came through the door. Uh, his father was an amazing salesman, and I think his father, my grandfather, instilled that in him early and often. So, uh, you know, that was kind of the tone setter, I think, for Jerry. Do you? Okay. You're almost too pretty to be a football player. <laughs> As Jones takes part in his 29th training camp as owner, two accomplishments stand above all others. One occurred on the field, the other was the field. For the first Super Bowl that I was ever involved in. And we walked in that beautiful Rose Bowl. And it was just 36 months ago that the public perception was that we were destroying this franchise with all the changes that we'd made. I had on a blazer and I had the equipment guy, I'm gonna get emotional here, but I had the equipment guy pitch me a ball. And there weren't but about 5,000 people in the stand at that time. And I went down to the end zone. And I took it like I was making a touchdown. And I just started skipping. And I skipped in, looked up at that stadium and said, touchdown, touchdown. Two weeks before the opening of AT&T Stadium, Jones sat alone on the 50-yard line of his $1.2 billion dream realized, tears falling onto the turf. The night we opened the, at the event that we had, that we we're referring to, I was getting me another touchdown down on that field. I think there were tears of joy. I think there was probably some of, I wish my dad was here. I wish my mother were here uh, to be a part of this. Uh, I know they would have loved to have seen uh, what he accomplished. When you've emptied your bucket, when you've gambled and you've got it, if you don't celebrate and get that feeling, then it won't be in you to go again. 
because you know you're fixed to go through some pretty painful times if you've taken a uh, risk. Hey, Marilyn. Yeah, Jerry, we're finished here, and I'm just getting on the helicopter, and we'll be right on in there, and uh, I'll go right into the scouting meeting. Good, I'll be there in about 10 minutes. Jones' mark on the NFL is indelible. In his early years, he forced the league to grow up faster than it wanted, leading the fight against giving rebates to the TV networks and forcing colleagues to rewrite team sponsorship and marketing guidelines. I think that everybody that that owns a team, from Danny Snyder to Bob Kraft and the other successful owners in the league. I think they owe him a very, very big debt of gratitude. Jones says his greatest debt is to his family, not only his parents, who instilled business values in him, but also his wife and children, who were with him in the hotel room, waiting for the ceremonial knock on the door that signifies entry into the hallowed halls of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. On behalf of all the people who love the game and the Pro Football Hall of Fame, to tell you for the rest of time uh, that your home will be in Canton, Ohio, that you will now be a member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I really can tell you that only about 3% of the time I've ever been around football was euphoria. But man, what euphoria. <laughs>